One of the things that makes boxing an interesting sport is the uppercuts. It is often considered the most devastating punch, and this makes it even more exciting. But it requires skills, coordination, and perfect timing for an uppercut to be effective. However, when delivered successfully, it can cause a great deal of damage or even result in a knockout. Therefore, in this video, we'll take you through some of the most exciting uppercuts that shocked the boxing world. Pavetkin vs. White On August 22, 2020, the Russian Alexander Pavetkin knocked out the Brixton-born Dylan White in the fifth round of their heavyweight fight. In the fourth round, White turned up the heat and dropped Pavetkin twice on the canvas. About 30 seconds into the fifth round, Pavetkin found the perfect opportunity to strike by delivering a sweet left uppercut that ended the fight. Chervonta Davis vs. Santa Cruz On October 31, 2020, Floyd Mayweather's protege, Gervonta Davis, sent the media into a frenzy after an amazing knockout in the sixth round of his bout with Santa Cruz. Davis put an end to it with a powerful uppercut that left Santa Cruz unconscious under the ropes. Jeremy Williams vs. Arthur Weathers Again, this is another fight that every old boxing fan should remember. It was on March 19, 1996, and the fight was between Jeremy Williams and Arthur Weathers. As the opening bell sounded, Jeremy Williams delivered a devastating uppercut at the speed of light. Arthur Weathers couldn't resist the punch as he dropped on the canvas. After counting from 1 to 4, the referee realized there was no point going further, so he signaled that the fight was over. Here, one punch, which may have been low, down to the body, up to the head, and correct. The big left hook even knocked Jeremy Williams off balance. Punch on the inside, leaning over, correct. Punching blow right to the point of the chin. Arthur Weathers. Tyson versus Fraser. On July 26, 1986, Mike Tyson recorded one of his quickest knockout victories against Marvis Frazier. The bout was scheduled to last for 10 rounds, but from the opening bell, it was obvious that Tyson didn't want to waste time on the fight. He immediately had Fraser on the defense, using his left jab to force him into the corner. When he had him exactly where he wanted him, Tyson delivered powerful uppercuts that crumpled Fraser to the floor. From the opening bell to the knockout was just 30 seconds, and it was the quickest victory of Tyson's professional career. Skepticism about his punching power has to evaporate. And the good news is I believe Marvis Frazier is standing up. There's a big crowd in that corner of the ring. Mike Tyson is going back over there now. We'll take another look live at what is happening in the ring after you finish seeing this third replay of the very quick. Almost played the entire fight in slow-mo. Here you're putting it back in the corner. There's the jab flicking out. Again the jab. And here comes the uppercut. Watch, look, everything's precise. Now watch his hand come up. Watch him come down. As soon as he come down, boom! <laughs> look at that. Watch him come down. I knew he come down. Get ready to say boom again, Michael. All right, boom. Look, and now look. Boom, come on. Boom, again. I'm going to hit him one more time. I like to hit him. This is that one I What can I say? What can I say? That's all she wrote. This is that one. Lewis versus Grant. On April 29, 2000, thousands of people gathered at the Madison Square Garden in New York to witness the fight between Lennox Lewis and Michael Grant, 
dubbed the Too Big. Grant started the fight aggressively, even getting home with a shot or two. But Lewis soon put the challenger in his place with a strong right hand that sent Grant to the canvas. Grant was able to get up before the count, but the damage done by the vicious punch was evident. A few moments later, Lewis delivered three consecutive punches to Grant, who was rescued by the rope from falling. Ropes held him up. Mercanti will count again. Lewis is still got to be long. The fight eventually came to an end in the final minute of the second round with a right uppercut to the chin. Finally got him here. Well, this is one of those games where four minutes of action can be better, better than an hour of inaction. Ooh, over the top, he's holding him, and he lands that uppercut. Absolutely right. Got away with holding the head while he landed the uppercut. Grant shouldn't have been, should not have been down there. Ooh. That hurts. Lennox Lewis is a puncher. Douglas versus Tyson. On February 11th, 1990, Mike Tyson would suffer his first professional defeat in boxing at the Tokyo Dome in Tokyo, Japan. In a fight dubbed Tyson is back, his opponent was Buster Douglas who shocked the world with his courage all throughout the fight. Although he didn't have a reputation close to Tyson's, it was apparent that he was up to the task. He never hesitated to let his punches fly whenever Tyson came within his range. The fight was surely entertaining and continued until the 10th round when the final decision was made. Douglas landed an uppercut that snapped Tyson's head backward and followed it immediately with four punches to the head, knocking Tyson down for the first time in his career. Foreman versus Frazier. The first meeting between George Foreman and Joe Frazier took place at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica and was nothing short of an epic encounter. The two undefeated champions had come into the fight with a perfect record and it was obvious that one of them will not go home with a clean sheet. However, the fight ended up being a one-sided beatdown in favor of Foreman, who defeated Frazier after just two rounds. In total, Foreman scored six knockdowns over Fraser, starting with an uppercut in the first round that brought Fraser to his knees. Fraser Foreman. Muhammad Ali was their hero. Now you're looking in slow motion. The right for the first knockdown. Green is over. Although Fraser managed to get up after each knockdown, the referee stopped the fight after the sixth one. Charlo versus Williams. On December 10, 2016, Jermall Charlo got his revenge against the undefeated Julian Williams at USC's Galen Center in Los Angeles. Before the fight, Williams had used every opportunity he had to trash talk Charlo. Although nothing much happened during the opening round, the action picked up in the second round. Charlo landed a powerful jab to the nose that dropped his opponent for the first time in his career. However, it was during the fifth round that Charlo got to show Williams who's the boss by sending him straight to the ground with a terrifying right uppercut. trainer told me to do, stayed in there, and, and bang, the shot went home. 
He was putting up a pretty good fight. The cards were basically even until this. Nicholas Hearns in the red, but Williams went down face first. Second time in the fight, second time he's in his hold. career. He's got to hold. He's got to hold. He's not, he's not holding. This is the youth. Down goes Williams for the third time. The fight is Thank you for watching this video. Tell us which of these moments is your favorite. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content.